Colton made these homemade flies all by himself. Yes! What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm on the reef and I'm gonna be doing something a little different. Today I'll be using flies, but not any kind of flies. Today I'll be using homemade flies by Colton. Look at these. I'll be using these suckers. Colton made these homemade flies all by himself. I got three today with me. This one is neon kind. It's pink one and then there's one in there. One, it's a little bigger. I'm gonna start off with this guy and I'm just gonna whip it through this water. So I just tied the fly on right there. I've never caught anything on a fly. I've actually never used it before. So, I'm gonna see what we can catch today. I always use squid, taco, oama, shrimp, anything natural. So we're gonna see if we can catch something on artificial today. Homemade artificial. Even better. This is what I decided to go with today. I got my six and a half foot scimitar with my Pen Fierce 3 2500, 10 pound test mainline and 12 pound test leader. I'm going light today, going light today. I don't think I'll keep anything today. I just wanna see if I can catch something on the fly. The homemade fly by Brada Colton. All right, so I'm gonna fill the bowl. I don't know if this leader's too long, but I don't know. I've seen they use longer leaders. Just gonna make a couple casts out there and Hopefully we can get something like a papil of any size or anything I'll be happy with. Our first fish on a fly. Just gonna do some... I don't know how deep it is. If I should let it sink or something. Wow, it looks good in the water though. Come on, something got a bite, right? <laughs> it goes far with this 10 pound test and bubble floater. It goes far. I'm just gonna whip it just like this. If nothing bites, I'll switch up the whipping pattern. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I gotta let it sink longer. Got something. Oh my god. On the fly. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Ooh. Is it papier or trigger? Why would it be a trigger fish? No way. Papier, baby. Papier, baby. And Colton's fly does it again, not only on the boat. Oh my, this might be better than bait. 
There we go, guys. I've been fishing for five minutes, I think. And I was really giving up already. Like, I was giving up at five minutes. My arm was getting tired. All right, nice little papil. I just want to take a picture and now uh, release this little bugger. Little papil on the fly. Let's put him down and take a nice picture. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, come here, little guy. He's probably nine to 10 inches. I bet he's legal, but I got a lot of fish at home. A lot of tawals from last time I went fishing. Here we go. Beautiful fish. All right. Thanks for the fight. You're going the wrong way. First fish on the fly. This green one. Wow. Let's do that again. That was awesome. Wow. All right, here we go. All righty. Now I'm pumped. Is it a papillo? <laughs> papillo! Get him, Colton. Another papillo. Colton's fly. Colton, why don't you use your fly? Another Milu. Yeah, the other one's okay. You never know when it's gonna hit. Every crank it can hit. You just don't know. Oh no, I'm stuck. Nope, it's broken, guys. Well, you lose rigs. That's just how it is. Well guys, it's definitely a nice sunset. I can say that. I don't think this is the bait to use or the lure to use when it's getting dark. I don't know. All right guys, that'll be it for the video. Caught my first fish on the fly today. It was a nice little papil on Colton's homemade fly. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Maha. And I've never used flies before. Oh boy, okay, hold on. All right, I think the glue went over the hole. <laughs> oh shoot. It's okay, we're gonna solve the problem. All right, problem solved. <laughs>